guys, it's Erin, and I know it's been a super long time, and I really do apologize for that. Um, it's been as strange for me trying to do this layout as it probably is for you finally watching one of these after a while. Um, my computer died. Uh, it kind of got zapped by a snowstorm that we had here, and I couldn't, I, I didn't have anything prepared, right? I, it wasn't like, oh, well, you're not going to have a computer for a couple of days, and, you know, print stuff out and do things. So I was kind of at a loss as to what to do because I didn't, um, I'm having a hard time coloring because of all the uh, medicine that I'm on. It's making me shake and it's really hard to color. So stamps were out. So uh, my video games were out because my computer was gone. So what was I going to do? Well, I had these photos printed from our trip to Disney World in 2013 for our 10-year uh, wedding anniversary. And so I just went through that album and said, you know, all right, what well, looks good to me? And I picked out these two photos from the seas with um, with the Finding Nemo crew. And I had just bought those stickers at the scrapbook convention, which you probably saw the video for. And so I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll just do a layout with these. So I picked a background from Echo Park's uh, Sunny Days Ahead. And then I used papers from... Pretty Little Studios Treasure Island collection because obviously it's like water themed and, and you know piratey but not piratey because I didn't buy those parts um, and yeah I just kind of I mean you can see me just randomly layering stuff because I have no idea what I'm going to do I didn't have a plan or anything I just kind of wanted to showcase the papers as well as the photos which are actually stock photos that are um that our photo pass CDs came with because there's some things that I just forgot to take pictures of, right? So <laughs> I was like, uh, I know this is a thing we did and I know it's a thing we enjoyed, so where do I get photos? Well, it, they happen to be on that um, that photo CD. So I, I, use, I use the stock photos a couple times in this album and it's not so bad. And, you know, obviously they're good quality, so it works out. <laughs> And I just trimmed those down a little bit so that they would fit on the full 8x8 paper. I, it was weird that I ended up buying that paper because I don't usually use photorealistic paper and that the sand texture on this is actually like super realistic. But, um, but you know, it was, it was still good. And I think that I made a nice balance between what you could see and then what you weren't seeing so that it wasn't just overly like look photorealistic and then really um, like doodly stylistic papers with it because that wouldn't have made any sense at least not to me I mean you might look at it and be like oh it's just fine but <laughs> and um, I ended up placing the rays a little different when I finally glue this down which I you know shouldn't have glued down so firmly because the piece has to go behind it and I knew that I don't know why I just put that there but I did <laughs> I'm very good at like erasing things afterwards or pulling them up afterwards so that's what I'm going to do um, you can see my tablet off to the left because it's the only way I can watch Netflix because my computer's dead <laughs> so all this stuff in front of me is like you know dead monitors and everything because yeah so we had to buy an entire new motherboard and power supply and Mike was tired of trying to get in and out of my old case because it was like really crappy and so he bought me a new desktop case too so it was like a whole big you know a whole big thing <laughs> the only thing that didn't get replaced was like the CPU and the graphics card which you know I have a really good graphics card so it's alright at least that was okay and I was very happy that my f my photos were okay because usually in a power surge like that it doesn't you know hurt the uh it doesn't hurt your hard drives, but there's always that chance. And, you know, that's what's a little scary because, you know, photos. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care about anything else, Mike, as long as the photos are fine. And they were. So now they're all backed up and they're on two different drives and on Carbonite. So everything's fine. <laughs> but, yes, rem always back up your stuff. Just always do it. Constantly back up your stuff. And I'm babbling about that because, really, you don't need to have me explain to you what I'm doing here. I'm inking the edges, which I never do, but I, I thought that there was a lot of white in these in these papers, and when I had layered them without the inking, they just kind of blended together and not in a good way. 
So I thought, you know, all right, I'm going to ink the edges and let them stand out as each individual piece a little bit and, you know, kind of weave them in and around each other so you get the bits of patterns and everything. And so I also, um, I don't know why I ended up tossing this, these little phrase strips in to my basket because a lot of them don't really fit, like, you know, I mean, they fit fish, so that works. But they're like diving and floating and stuff that has to do with a pool. And I haven't been in a pool in 10 years. So, no, that's that's a lie. Not, not 10 years. Um, I'm going to say 2012. Yes, last time I was in a pool was 2012. <laughs> and I, I don't have photos. I already scrapped them. But um, you can see me in there that I was looking through my Project Life cards from... Um, Scraptastic and some are from Gossamer Blue. This one's from Scraptastic. I can tell by the texture. <laughs> it's really hard to glue down. It does not like my ATG tape. It likes the other tape, so I end up using that. And I give those the whole ink treatment as well. Um, I, I wanted to match the ink to the sand so that it would make sense, but none of them, none of them really worked. I mean, this is the closest one. The, I think it's antique linen. But um, none of them really were that color, and I don't have other inks anymore. I got rid of them. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it looks all right. And here you just see me placing those strips. And I thought, you know, I, I was already starting to think, where do I want to put the, uh, the Disney stickers and how many do I want to use? And stuff like that, and you know, something about having pre-prepared stuff like that. I just, I'm just gonna use the whole thing. I mean, why not? You know, where where else am I ever gonna use these guys? I'm not gonna put them on a card because I color all my cards. So, you know, I thought, you know, I, I could just put Dory next to Dory, and I could put Marlin next to Marlin, and kind of, you know, cover up some of that blank space. And um, you know, they all show up in the Finding Nemo ride in the seas so you know that works out too and that way you get to see all the nice cute stickers and everything so anyway I'm going to stop babbling because this video is almost over thank you very much for watching bye bye